welcome to my art channel where I upload pointless content probably 75% of the time. This video in particular is no exception to that. I was talking to a friend, you know who you are, who told me that I should recreate Bold and Brash, which is, is it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a piece. This then sparked the idea of me thinking to myself, maybe I should recreate ironically bad artwork from like shows, it's kind of famous for being bad. I then made a tweet and said, I was thinking about recreating some of the weirdest art from TV shows slash movies like this. Any recommendations for things similar to this? And is it something you'd be interested in seeing? This was the first one. Let's give him some grass for hair. I got a lot of responses to this and I obviously can't do all of them today, but if you'd like to see this video as a part two, let me know in the comments down below and also give this video a thumbs up as well. So I've got my idea for my first painting. I'm very happy with the idea of it. If you have ever seen the Mr. Bean movie, you will know that he accidentally destroys the very, very famous Whistler's Mother painting. Um, and instead of telling people he accidentally messed it up and because he's Mr. Bean, he tries to fix it and it turns out like this. So I'm gonna try and attempt to recreate that today because I just thought, why not? I also want to try to recreate these pieces in about an hour. What can I paint on? I don't have a palette. I'm running out of room. Oh, there's a spider! There's a spider! Ew! Ew! No! Ew! It's a little baby spider. Where's, where's the mother? That's what I want to know. I'm giving myself an hour time frame to do this. curtain seems to have a bit of an olivey look to it at least in this particular picture I'm looking at it looks like it's a bit greenish Do let me know in the comments, by the way, which paintings you'd like to see me create next time if I do this again, because I think it was quite a fun idea. I don't know if anyone's done this before. Um, to my knowledge, they haven't, but nothing on YouTube these days is original. Someone actually told me that I should recreate artwork from The Sims. So if you would like to see that, send me some Sim artwork on Instagram or something, and then I'll have to attempt it next time. This bloody paint is so good. Freaking, I love Liquitex. Absolutely bloody love it. I'm not very good at painting straight lines, but I'm doing my best. I'm currently painting a happy little curtain. Um, I've never painted one of those before, so it's a bit of a mess. Look how great that rectangle looks. It's so straight. I don't know who interior designed this room, but I wouldn't hire their services personally. Also, this yellow is disgusting. Some green to the floor because why not? It looks horrible enough as it is. Okay, so we have the base of the background done, as you can see. I actually feel very sorry for this woman because this couldn't have been a pleasant experience. He probably just went to her one day, hey mum, can you sit in this dark dingy grey room for a few hours so I can paint you? Literally all she's got to look at is a dark grey holy looking curtain. She didn't have Netflix or anything interesting to look at, she just had a boring wall and a curtain to look at for a few hours so props to this woman for sitting there for however long she sat there for. I would also like to know why they felt this particular picture on this particular wall would enhance it in any way. I'm actually really happy with this. For an hour, 
hour, I think that I did most of it. Um, I just have to add the little bald Pinocchio man. I think I've done it. It is complete. It's complete. Officially the most beautiful art piece I've ever made in my entire life. Um, here it is. It's a bit of a mess because I did it in an hour, but I'm very happy with it. And I think I'm going to get started with the Squidward one now. I'm pretty nervous about this because I feel like I'm not going to do Squidward any justice with this piece. So I'm going to try my best. Right, so Bold and Brash has a beautiful orange and yellow base. So we're going to start off with that. Got to mix the perfect hue of orangey yellow. And I need to make Squidward proud. Kind of shoving like seven different shades of orange and yellow and white onto this canvas to create that nice textured looking vibe that Squidward's got going on there. It's a bit orange, it needs to be more yellow, but it's okay. I'll put a second layer on this so it becomes more complementary to the original. Do I have any white that's not dry? Oh, there's a hair. There's a hair. There is a hair. Is that, that's not even my hair, is it? It's straight. Oh, my hair's been straightened. Never mind. Why are there so many hairs? <laughs> What's going on? Ew. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I quite like the way that's looking, but it's not yellow enough. It needs to be more yellow. We need to make Squidward proud. It's not the right shade of orange, but I like it. spent three years on this background already. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It's a little bit too orange, but I actually really like it. I think it's a good color combination. So it's a little while later, as you can tell, I'm getting tired, but my background is now dry and I'm going to attempt to sketch really but my background's all dry this is how it looks and i was gonna initially just put paint straight on top of this but i think i'm gonna probably mess it up and i won't be able to fix it because the background is so many different colors it's not a solid so i'm gonna attempt to sketch out the squidward figurine smushy thing on the canvas i think i've made his nose too big if that's possible so i finished sketching it out it doesn't look that great at the moment um but i'm gonna paint it see how it goes and then try and fix it from there rather large melon head. Just gonna give some nice highlight to the nose. actually made this piece for Spongebob had such a fun time. Like Squidward is known to make like bad art so if you're actually an artist that's deliberately supposed to be making bad art I feel like that would be such a fun job. I'm gonna give Squidward a little outline. Lining with a paintbrush is always very difficult to do, so it's very tedious. Ok, 
Okay, so I've done the outline. Now I just need to do his giant eyeball, which is like this big. Okay, so we kind of have to give him a very deer in headlights kind of vibe, like he's just seen something that scared him. Okay, here he is, bold and brash. This is this is how it looks. I'd say it's the weirdest thing I've ever painted, but technically the other thing was, so this is the second weirdest thing I've ever painted, but I'm happy with it. And finally, last but not least, I will be drawing Sam Winchester's police sketch because it's fabulous, so we'll put that there. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be able to fully master the beauty of this drawing give him some grass for hair got some little ears yes this is this is this is my greatest work yet he has a little voldemort nose with two little holes we have his beautiful smile that's just every orthodontist's dream now he looks like he's got duck lips let's give him a little sausage body two carrot sticks for arms we have a little dog horse thing on his arm as a tattoo. Oh, you know what? I've not made his arm big enough. Oh well, I'm sure he'll live. Actually, you know what? I might give him a little skirt because I feel like that would just enhance this a little bit more. Just give him a little skirt and then also show all of the lines underneath. I feel like he needs some serious eyebrows as well. I like that. So we've recreated our little man, but we've given him a skirt and some eyebrows because it was missing. I think I am most proud of this stuff out of anything I've ever made before. I'm very happy with it. I hope that you like it as well. If you would like to purchase any of these, they will be available for $5 million. Um, just leave a comment down below if you'd like to buy them. But in all seriousness, I really enjoyed making this video and I hope that you enjoyed watching it too. Um, if you would like to see me do this again, remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below as to what you would like to see me recreate next. But yes, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.